What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today we're going to go over this week's TWAB. This week at Bungie's weekly updates and to be honest there's one thing I was looking for going into this actual weekly update. I made a video yesterday talking about Nightfall exclusive loot and how it should work and within this update it seems as though what I wanted is actually happening so it's the best possible news we could have asked for in my opinion especially with the state Destiny is in at the moment there's just no grind there's none of that grind feel you got from Destiny 1 with uh, what I suggested yesterday Bungie do well obviously not what I suggested they already had planned it but what I wanted to see them do was basically make these strike exclusive well these nightfall exclusive rewards extremely rare but allow us to farm them as much as possible and it seems as though that is going to be the case now what I also suggested in my video so to say if there is an exclusive weapon for one of these nightfall strikes maybe give that weapon a few set rolls so it won't be the same weapon every single time it drops uh, they haven't said anything about that but it still could be the case we don't know yet so let's go into the update and see what they state now you start off talking about faction rallies uh, with season 2 and that's basically the last chance we have of getting the season 2 faction rally ornaments so get grinding if you still have a faction uh, which you want to get their ornaments for. But we'll skip that, but if you do want to read through all, I'll link it in the video description. Let's talk about the nightfall changes they talk about within this update, uh, which will come this Tuesday with the 1.1.4 patch. So they state, update 1.1.3 introduced Nightfall scoring and challenge cards to change the player experience. Update 1.1.4 brings unique rewards to sweeten each Nightfall strike. Let's take a look back to a quote published in February covering the overall goal for Nightfall activities. Quoting Christopher Barrett right here, Nightfall should be a challenging test that only the bravest guardians dare face. Fire teams of any size should be able to participate. From organised clan groups to skilled solo players, players should be able to determine their own challenge level by going slow and steady or fast and wild. With elective modifiers to test the most hardcore veterans, your final score will separate the best from the rest and with high risk comes high reward. Each terrible villain that players face should have a very rare and powerful unique item theme to them that tumbles to the ground as they collapse into a pile of bones. Conquering Nightfall should be a badge of honour with the best players able to show off their achievements with new dynamic emblems and exclusive auras. One question in particular has been trending throughout the community since the Nightfall Unit Rewards Bullet was featured on the roadmap. How do we earn these rewards? These rewards have a chance to drop when you complete a Nightfall activity at any difficulty. You can increase your chances using challenge card modifiers to set higher personal best scores. Earning these items may take many attempts to receive a drop as they are meant to be their rewards. Last week we gathered feedback on how the community would like to discover these rewards either through a quick tease here on the blog or from those among you who wish to be the first to show off their newly found loot. We'll be watching legends unfold as these rewards are earned by players and hope many among you enjoy discovering these items via gameplay without being spoiled. So that is just great in my opinion what we needed, what this game needed. It needed that grind for a certain weapon. My favourite times within Destiny 1, well some of my favourite times were farming Omnigal, farming that strike for the Grasp of Malak. I mean yes you could literally glitch her. If you were quick enough you could kill her before she went to her main room and she could drop the loot there. You could then kill yourself and respawn at the bottom of that hill and kill her again and rinse and repeat. Ain't going to be the same within Destiny 2 but we can still run the Nightfalls over and over which is great in my opinion. And like it says here you can increase your chances of actually getting this exclusive loot by using the challenge card modifiers to set higher personal best scores which I know many people will be doing. So this is just great great news in my opinion, I cannot wait to start farming Nightfalls, it gives me reason to go back and play Destiny, I ain't, well I logged on to um, align myself with Future War Corp because it's the last faction I need the ornaments for but I haven't been back on since, but this will definitely bring me back for sure. They go on to talk about Crucible, competitive housekeeping. Crucible isn't just getting updates to game more to so speed up gameplay. Starting in Destiny Update 1.1.4, the competitive playlist will also feature a quitter penalty per the dev team. Because the uh, competitive playlist disables during progress, leaving matches early for any reason can ruin people's games. Starting in 1.1.4, we are adding a system that can issue temporary restrictions 30 minutes in length for habitual quitters. 
Damn! You quit out of the game? You're getting a 30 minute delay before you can get back in? That's cool in my opinion. Leaving a match early for any reason, from improper network settings to an idle timeout while getting the door for a food delivery, can result in a temporary restriction. If you're entering a competitive playlist, make sure you have a solid connection and a proper time to complete your matches. On our side, we're also increasing security measures to improve the Crucible environment as a whole. I'm actually glad Bungie have actually stepped up and took this step. To me, they're taking us seriously. They're taking what we want seriously. Yeah, I mean, I know it's too late for some people, but for others who still want this game to go good, they are definitely heading in the right direction for sure. Now, they do go on to talk about security updates within this update. If you do want to read through that, like I said, it will be linked within the video description. But it's just here, there, everywhere nonsense in my opinion. The main changes I was particularly looking forward to here within this 12 was about the Nightfall and the exclusive loot. And it seems as though the system I wanted, which I talked about in a video yesterday, will be coming into play, which is great, great news. But on that note, guys, I am out. Tell me what you think about this Nightfall exclusive loot rewards. Do you like the idea that you can constantly farm these Nightfalls, but the rewards are super rare? I think that is a great, great addition. It's what this game needs, in my opinion, because normally they drop this Nightfall exclusive loot, and within the first couple of hours, everybody in the community would have them, and that just shouldn't be the case. I'm glad that they're super rare, it gives us reason to play and grind the game. A game which was originally about grinding, but it's kind of lost that grind factor. I'm glad to see they are incorporating changes which bring it back. And on that note guys, I am out. Thanks as always for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really does help me out. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one. Get it right.